Hey, it's Bob Duffy from Intel here, and I'm excited to show you Blender 3.6 with Intel Embry support for hardware accelerated ray tracing for cycles rendering on Intel GPUs, including Intel Arc graphics. As we've shown you before in Blender, to use Intel GPU for cycles rendering, go to your system preferences and select one API, and then select your GPU. But we have something new, which is Embry on GPU. You can turn that on or you can turn that off. When it's on, this will allow you to have Intel Embry used for hardware acceleration in your GPU renders. Now, if you want to skip straight to the demo portion of the video, scrub forward till you see Blender again. Otherwise, let's learn about Embry. Embry is Intel's well-established and award-winning ray tracing library. Embry has been part of Blender supporting CPU rendering for many years. It's a tool that animation and VFX studios rely on to accelerate rendering for complex scenes, where especially in Blender, features like motion blur are rendered faster. Embry is part of something called the Intel Rendering Toolkit, along with Intel Open Image Denoise Library. The Open Image Denoise Library may be more familiar to Blender users as the stable denoising solution for both professionals and hobbyist 3D artists. Software solutions such as OneAPI, Embry, and Open Image Denoise are critical to Intel's approach to delivering advanced software solutions that take advantage of the hardware, delivering both increased performance and reduced render times while retaining render quality. If you've been following Intel graphics and our strategy for Intel Arc, this may sound familiar. With the release of Intel Arc, we have focused on alignment with modern APIs while adding software solutions to allow both performance and quality to coexist. And just as when we released Intel Arc desktop GPUs in October, we have since improved on that performance iteratively with optimized drivers. You are seeing that same approach play out in creator software like Blender, where we released one API support for GPU rendering in the fall, and now this summer you get accelerated GPU rendering with Embry. And there's more to come. Now, let's get back into Blender and see things in action. Okay, we're back in Blender, and I'm gonna try something interesting. I'm gonna kick off our render here and try to do it in a way that you see Intel Embry on on the left and Intel Embry off on the right in a sped up mode. So let's see how that goes. By the way, this bistro scene is a great scene to see and test. Uh, path tracing. What I find fascinating is there are no light objects in the scene. It's completely lit with mesh objects using emissive materials in different colors. So it's, it's very cool to see how it comes together. So let's see how Embry does here. Okay, yeah, it looks like Embry with hardware acceleration finished in about three minutes and 15 seconds. And on the right, Embry off, still working away. We'll give that some time. Okay, it looks like one API with Embry off finished in about five minutes and eight seconds. So nearly a two minute difference. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. And obviously results are scene and shader dependent. But I think we can say Intel Embry with hardware acceleration is making a difference here. And as part of the Intel one API rendering toolkit, we also have Intel open image denoise where you denoise in the final render or in the viewport as you are seeing here. As we discussed earlier, Open Image Denoise has been in Blender for some time and a great solution to get quality results in less time. So to get that going, just head over to the render properties and select Denoise either for the viewport or for your final render. Make sure you have Open Image Denoise selected and then you can select at what sample you like denoising to start in the viewport. If you wanted to start denoising immediately, you could set it to zero or you could set a sample count where you'd like it to kick in, like 16 samples as I'm doing here. And to have denoise in the final render, again, head over to the render properties and turn on denoise under render. Make sure open image denoise is selected. Now go ahead and kick off a render. Your render will proceed as normal. You'll see samples count up as the render improves over time. Denoise will take place when all samples are finished. And it's that simple, another beautiful render. And we have good news for Open Image Denoise fans. Intel has recently released Open Image Denoise for GPU. And we're excited to see that enhancement make it into a future version of Blender. And let's not forget about Eevee. Eevee is the real-time rasterization render engine that, honestly, it's sometimes hard to distinguish from cycles. 
And if you're like me, even when building a scene with cycles rendering, EV is part of the workflow, as you can see here. It's responsive, the results are great, and it runs really well on Intel Arc GPUs. And I'm also running cycles in the viewport at the same time. This is something that I just find fascinating and amazing about Blender, uh, mixing these two together, the best of both worlds. And my Intel Arc GPU is up to the task. So key message here is we are taking yet another step forward in performance and quality with rendering on Intel hardware. One API support for Intel GPUs last fall, and now Embry with hardware accelerated path tracing. And it's not the end. There's more gas in the tank here. We do expect to see performance improvements with driver optimizations, just as we've seen with gaming, plus support for denoise via Intel GPUs. And that's a wrap for the update. To learn more, follow the links in the description. And if you enjoyed this content, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, I'm Bob Duffy, and we'll catch you on Discord.